In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export or render a part of a video in Camtasia. Hi, my name is David, and if this is your first time, kindly consider subscribing. Camtasia is one of the best uh, screen recording applications that I've ever used, and I've used this for at least a good number of years or over 10 years, and I can honestly say it is one of the best. Now, producing a selection of a video or part of a video is a good thing and the reasons that I have for this is that number one you may need to assess the quality of the video output for the export settings that you choose that is a good thing so that you know if I use particular settings for my export then this will work out well for the full video so that is reason number one reason number two you may have a blog post or maybe uh, a post on medium or even on your WordPress blog that is a step-by-step -step like tutorial and you need each step that is covered to have its own video. So producing a video as a selection or a part of that particular video will make it easy for you to have your videos in a sequence and you'll be able to place the videos where you need them to be. Number three, if you have a client and uh, sometimes you want to show them the final output, what it will look like, and if they have any changes before you continue, then it's easy for you to give that to them. That is the selection or that part of the video so that they can assess the quality, see if the audio is okay, because mostly uh, sometimes or most of the time, this is what uh, is a reflection of the whole project. And finally, you may want to estimate the final output size of the video. And this is a good thing, especially if you're working with a long video, you can try the output of about a minute uh, selection of a, of a particular section of a video so that you know what will be the size. And the reason for this is that Camtasia doesn't offer uh, the details of what will be the expected size of the file when you do this. Therefore, to make this particular uh, production or render of uh, part of a selection of the timeline, then all you need to do is highlight the section that you want. And you do this by holding uh, the playhead, the red side of the playhead, and moving it until you get to the point where you need uh, the selection to end. Once you do this, you need to right click inside this area uh, where uh, the margins that determine this, right click, and then say produce timeline selection as. Just click on that. And once you do that, it's going to bring you to the custom production settings where you'll set uh, your production settings depending on what you want them to be. Uh, and then click on next and then you choose the file type that you want. For us, we want an MP4. And we, then we go to next. And then you can choose the size, the video settings, uh, either change the frame rate, uh, and then the quality type. Uh, but I always go with something like uh, 81. And then the audio settings, you can bump up the bit rates uh, of the audio. But I just leave everything as is, and then click on next. Click on next. And once you're satisfied, uh, with your selections, all you need to do is just produce selection. And then I just uh, add selection to that and click on finish. Uh, depending on how long the selection is, it may or may not take a long time to produce that particular selection. But when you do that, you'll be able to assess the quality of the video. That's about uh, five second file and gets to about 1.76 MB. So you'll potentially be able to estimate how long a four minute 13 second file will be and this is a good one for even a client to review the quality so that's it from me and uh, if you're interested in checking out Camtasia check out the link from the description below and I wish you all the best when creating video tutorials thank you for watching